When you look at our department right now and you look at what we've done with technology, it is groundbreaking. And prior to Live 911, we would have officers that would receive a radio call from dispatch and they'd provide them with the information and they do an amazing job. But what happens is sometimes you don't get all the information. And that is where this is critical. We want well-informed first responders. We want them to understand what they're going to. We want them to be thinking about what they might do before they get there because time is never on a first responder's side and anything you can do to get a jump on that, I think definitely will save lives. With Live 911, my officers have the ability now to hear a live feed of the actual 911 call and then they can hear the details that sometimes might be left out. What this means to the community is if an officer has the ability to get there quicker and your family member or you are in a situation where it's potentially life or death, will 30 seconds make a difference to you? The concept of Live 911 came from Fritz Reber, who was a retired captain from the Chula Vista Police Department. So after it was explained to us, we were like, this is, this is amazing. This is something we really need to do. When you get that call, the dispatcher's entering as fast as she can with a keyboard. I'm actually hearing what's going on. So it takes a few minutes for them to get it to me. And I already know what I'm looking at as I'm driving to the call. So here comes the 911 call. So it's right up here. They can look on Live 911 and see exactly where that caller is standing and drive directly to that location without delay. I think that it bridged a gap and created more cohesion between patrol and dispatch because they have a clear understanding of what the dispatchers are doing and they understand that they're doing everything they can to get as much information as they can as fast as they can. It is reassuring to the citizens so that they know that the officer is actually listening. If there's something, before they would just say, send the police. And now it's like, well, the officer can hear you. He's responding. So the more information you give me, he can catch the bad guy. And then they're a little bit more receptive to give the information. I got flagged down at call 235 Woodlawn. Higher Ground is announcing general availability of the Live 91 product. It is available nationwide to be installed in every police department, small, medium, or large. It's beyond a game changer. We have to give our officers, our first responders, more information. And that is critical right now as we talk about de-escalation and we talk about the challenges law enforcement is facing. We're the first agency in the country to have drone as a first responder. So we can fly our drones up to three nautical miles for any call for service. We average between 16 to 18 calls for service a day and I'm usually on scene within 120 seconds. Not only would officers get the audio of the call, get the location of where it was happening, they'd actually also get a simultaneous video feed of what was going on at the scene. And I'm providing real-time information. So what's good about this position is sometimes I'm on scene and the call isn't, hasn't even been entered yet because they're still talking and they're still typing and they've got a lot of information to put in. On top of that, the dispatchers like it. So the dispatchers that are taking the call are now looking at my live feed and directing questions to the people that call. Hey, I'm watching the live drone footage. Is that black car involved? So I've located the house and I heard somebody else screaming in the background. I knew something wasn't right. So that lady just jumped out the window. That sure looks like a large knife. I have the radio right here. I have my headset on. I click my foot pedal and say, we've got a knife involved in a dispute here. We need to get people here. I was thinking bad things are about to happen here. Thankfully, she throws the knife and the officers arrive and they handle things. Even though it's just a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes is a huge difference in a life or death emergency. It's, it's a game changer. This is an opportunity to help officers have more information to make better informed decisions, to get there quicker, and to save people's lives.